Hi everyone, welcome to my second YouTube video. As you can see I've been working on this tank for a few months now. Uh, I started out with a basic henge long tank and then I put a wireless camera on here and then put a few battery banks here and here to run some lights under the camera and the camera itself. And when I was playing with this what I found is that to run it I needed to use one of these it's a basic 12 volt transmitter that runs off these crystals has four different channels and I've been running it basically from these rechargeable batteries and the, the, so most of them are like these free 800 milliamp hour batteries and these ones are two 2200 milliamp hour batteries so between them you think that the 12 volts I was getting for this controller it would have lasted a while but the batteries were chewed in seconds literally lasted five minutes and they were dead so what I thought to myself is first off if you turn it over and have a look in the battery bay check out the um, wire in here and what I found is that this negative here the, the battery runs up as a positive goes into the negative of the next battery and then that comes back down again and it runs all the way up and down to create eight batteries in series which is 12 volts in total and this is the negative point here the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal and what I thought is if I could hook that up to perhaps a, a power bank or um, some kind of battery, you know, big heavy battery, um, not only would I get a better ampage going to the transmitter so the signal would be sent further and, you know, have a clearer signal, um, but also I wouldn't be rechanging these bloody rechargeables every 10 minutes. So what I did is I wired one of these big ass batteries, these old lead acid batteries this one's 12 volt 22 amp hours and they pump out about 6.6 .6 ampage uh, at their peak you know so when you're demanding amps off them they they can provide for these transmitters so if you can get yourself a long, a long aerial and a heavy solid battery that's pumping out 12 13 volts you're halfway there and you can take it any rate you can really take any two wires I just took some old wires from an audio system sound system uh, chopped the ends off hooked them up to one of these lead batteries the heavy lead batteries and then what I did with the transmitter is I soldered on to the negative here I put the negative wire lead into the negative terminal on the battery positive here to the positive terminal on the battery and I left some space inside so some of the wiring could sneak in there when it's not being in use and I covered it over with some standard paper um, packaging tape there and it works pretty well but don't forget that when you've soldered these on to uh, glue them in with a glue gun to give them some strength while they're in there because otherwise these wires can be tugged and you'll just tug it out but if you leave some space in the battery department what you find is that when you're out and about if you're standing in a field you can use this big heavy lead battery and leave it next to you but if you want to go walking around instead of using a lead battery you can just up unhook these wires and hook it up instead to a battery bank which can go say here like this and what will happen is this battery bank I will connect up to um, a PCB board which will hook up to the wires and basically the PCB board will boost the battery bank the power bank from 5 volts to the required 12 volts of the transmitter and also the ampage will be boosted as well from the little PCB board so Basically, between the two, being able to stand there and have as enough power all day to use the transmitter, I thought it was worth the share. And also, if you consider putting the power bank on the back as well, you can walk around without a problem, and um, it'll give you enough power for you know a good two or three hours. So I hope you um, I hope you find that of help somehow, and perhaps you can 
have a go yourself. It'll save you going shipping through the AA batteries like I do all the time. So, cheers for watching and, you know, keeping out for other posts I'll be posting over the coming weeks. Cheers, guys.